Good morning. Our opening song will be four, three, five. Spirit. Amen. My brothers, my sisters, the Lord be with you. And with Amen. your spirit. As we come together as God's family, let us take some time to acknowledge our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I charge you in the presence of God and of, Jesus, and of Christ Jesus who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingly power proclaim the word. Be persistent whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but following their own desires in insatiable curiosity, will accumulate teachers and will stop listening to the truth and will be diverted to myth. But you be self-possessed in all circumstances, put up with hardships, perform the works of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out like a libation and the time for, of my departure is at hand. I have competed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the last, the just judge, will award to me on, the, on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall be filled with your praise, with your glory day by day. Cast me not off in my old age. As my strength fails, forsake me not. I will sing of your salvation. But I will always hope and praise you ever more and more. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. I will treat the Almighty I will treat of the mighty works of the Lord. Of, o God, I tell of your singular justice. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and till the present I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. So I will give you thanks with music on the lyre for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing your praises with the harp, O Holy One of Israel. I will sing of your salvation.
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. In the course of his teaching, Jesus said, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, places of honor at banquets. They devour the house of widows as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth. But she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, uh, the gospel today, I think, is probably one of the most um, misunderstood gospels, I think, uh, where I think many of us, we just kind of like to pick and choose sound bites or snippets without understanding the whole gospel, right? So many people say, well, okay, there's a rich man who put in large sums and, and a poor widow who put in two small coins, you know, worth a few cents. And who, uh, is it, which of the, the two does Jesus praise? Well, the gospel says the, the poor widow. So, like, oh, okay. So that means that, um, I mean, I give more than a few cents to, to, uh, to church or to organizations that are in need, you know, uh, I give like a dollar, so that's like ninety-eight cents more than what, what you know. What, so I'm I'm good, I'm good, you know. Um, but you got to read the fine print. Why does Jesus praise the, the the poor widow who gave a few cents as opposed to the rich man who gave a large sum? Well, as I just read in the gospel, right? Uh, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors in the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus wealth, but she from her poverty has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood, right? So if if one dollar is all you have, your livelihood, like, yeah, then you gave more than somebody else who gave a thousand dollars from their surplus, right? Um, and I think it's uh, similar to uh, the, 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 the song that we sang for the opening hymn, you know, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, right? Do we give... God, our first fruits, uh, our sacrifice, right, our, our livelihood, or is it just the, 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 the crumbs or the extras, whatever left over, right? And if you think about it like this, um, maybe this is when you're younger, or maybe they're, maybe you're young now, you know, but like a lot of young people, right, um, they're kind of like careless with their money, you could say that. Um, so let's say you're like a young adult or a teenager, and you're madly in love with somebody, Madly in love, right? Um, are you just gonna take this person to, I don't know, like In and Out, or are you gonna take them to like a nice place? Because you really, you know, you you want to do something special, especially for like Valentine's Day or your anniversary, right? Even if you're poor, even if you if you have no job, you know, you're gonna swipe that credit card because you really love this uh, this this girlfriend or boyfriend of yours, right? As a parent. Even if you're going through financial difficulties, right? Even if you're having trouble, you know, paying the rent, right? If your son or daughter, if your child uh, is sick, right? Is really sick, right? You're not going to be like, well, sorry, kid. I ain't got no money. You know, if, I, if we had money left over, I'll take you to the hospital. No, 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 no. You're going you're gonna to borrow a loan because you don't want your son or daughter to be sick. Right? You're going to take them to the emergency, to the best doctors around, around, around the neighborhood, right? And that's the same thing with God. The, the point that Jesus is making is, do we give our sacrifices, you know, out of just surplus or out of sacrifice, our whole livelihood? And not just 
you know, about giving treasure or giving money to the church or organizations, but giving of your time. You know, when we pray, uh, do I give my finest, my best, you know, hour to God or uh, whatever is left over, right? I think I mentioned this maybe a while ago, but, you know, for people, we have some people who are morning people, like Father Mark is a morning person. I don't know what time he wakes up, like at four or something like that. Is that right? Look about four. Yeah, you know. Uh, I'm yes. sleeping at four, you know. Yeah. Um, and then we have like Father Joseph. I don't know. He's got the weird hours. Like he, <laughs> I don't know. Like he, because he's got friends in Senegal family, so they got it's a different time zone, I guess. But um, you know, everybody's got different. You know, some people are morning people, some people are night owls, right? But let's say let's say you're a morning person, right? You you, you function best in the morning. You're fresh in the morning, but by by seven, nine, ten p.m., you turn into a pumpkin, right? So. If that's the case, at what time of the day should you pray and offer that sacrifice of prayer to God? It shouldn't be when I'm tired, when I'm when I turn into a pumpkin, when I got you know, well, I, if I have time, if I'm not, you know, if I'm not sleepy by now, I'll say a little prayer. No, 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 no. If you're a morning person, you should offer your morning hour to God, right? Not the surplus left over time you got, but your livelihood, right? So think about you know whether it's not just the money, but also the prayer and giving of our talents, you know, and treasure, right? Think about how can I offer my first fruits? Seek first the kingdom of God. Um, and I'm not telling you to give your entire livelihood, but I think we could do more than just giving of what is left over or giving up the surplus, right? That's the, that's the true meaning, the example of uh, the, the, the poor widow who gave two cents. Inspired by the trust of the widow, let us pray that God's people may endure faithfully in the vocations to which Christ has called them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those with great wealth may be inspired by the joy and humility of those with simple means, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel poured out in illness, sorrow, and pain, may keep faith in the company of those who care for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the science of our hearts, let us ask God for our own intentions. With these prayers we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be adorned with the crown of righteousness among the saints, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the widow and those the world judges least, you reveal true wisdom. Deliver, deliver us from the myths that mislead us, that we may faithfully perform the work you give us, running the race to the last. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth with the human hands will become for us the bread of life. Bless, Bless be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, the fruit of the vine, work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and of all of his holy church. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar, 
that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty, our salvation, always, everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal, for having received the first fruit of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oscar, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and informed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and the desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Governed by your Spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, you may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Before the uh, final blessing, uh, I have an uh, announcement. I guess it's I guess it's good news, right? Good news. Um, so I know a lot of people have been emailing or asking, you know, oh, when, when are we going to start mass? I heard so and so, like Orange County, they're starting mass. And this place, why don't we start? Ah, I don't know. Um, so in the county of Santa Clara, every county is different, yeah. So in the county of Santa Clara, you know, we've been given permission starting June fifth to celebrate, uh, you know, mass outside only for up to a maximum of twenty five people. And uh, we had a meeting with the bishop, and the bishop uh, finally you know, announced, you know, publicly to us and to for uh, for all the people and the, and the diocese of San Jose that starting June 15th, right, June 15th, Monday, uh, with daily mass, we are allowed to follow those guidelines provided by the county. Uh, so what this means is, uh, starting next week, you will uh, hear through uh, Facebook our internet, uh, EU, the weekly emails you get, uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, sign up, sign up to come to a daily mass through uh, Eventbrite. So you'll get a link that you can sign up. Um, sadly, you know, we, we, we want everybody to come, but sadly this is the guidelines that, that the county has given us, but at least we're able to celebrate mass. This is good news. So we'll be celebrating mass uh, outside starting June 15th, uh, up to 25 people maximum. Uh, by the courtyard, uh, by the school over there, uh, but you'll get more information, but just a FYI, um, and hopefully when the, if that goes well, then they'll allow us to have more people and eventually move into the church, yeah? Okay. We'll continue the internet. And in the meantime, if you cannot, uh, you know, make the Mass, or if you're not one of the 25, or you still feel kind of uncomfortable, you know, uh, being in a group gathering, we'll still uh, have live streaming as well, like, like right now. Okay. My brothers, my sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing.